Hello everyone, this is World Combat Sports. I wanted to stop in today because something special happened in the UFC Women's Division. Ronda Rousey made history by becoming the first woman to be inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame. If you ask him why, okay, let me first get this out the way. In her speech, she basically said her being Ronda Rousey, I am not the first person who had the ability to do this, but I am here because I am the first person you took time to watch. Rousey told the crowd at the Pearl Theater during her induction speech that you put the energy into supporting. Because of you, I am first the woman standing up here accepting this incredible honor. May I be the first of many. Hey, salute to Ronda Rousey. You know, she did it. And the reason why she did it, let's go over her accolades, okay? Ronda Rousey, in her MMA career, you know, basically she, was, she hosted a 12 and 2 record, all right? She defended her title six times. Let's go over her first opponent in the process of when she actually achieved that in the Bantamweight division. She was the first woman to basically fight and earn a title on the same night. That's because the UFC was in the process of building the women's um, division and, and Ronda Rousey at the time was the face. That's who Dana White um, decided to go with. She had all the goods. She was right, you know, for the camera and so forth. Her skill set, te um, technical skills and everything that she was right. So when she fought Liz Kamuch, that's the night she picked up the championship. The winner, it was just like fighting for a vacant championship. But since they was just starting the division, Ronda Rousey um, faced Liz Kamuch. And Liz had her in um, a standing almost rear naked choke. And Ronda was able to counter that first by removing the hooks that Liz Kamuch had her in and threw her to the ground. And from then on, she went to work. So she defeated um, Liz Kam Kamuch, round one submission. And then she went on to face what they was trying to um, develop into a rivalry with her versus Misha Tate, round three submission. Okay. The third was Ronda Rousey versus Sarah McMahon, round one knockout. And then it was Ronda Rousey versus Alex Davis, round one knockout. Then her next opponent was Kat Singano, round one submission. Then Beth Cohir, round one knockout. Now, after that, this was a climactic moment for the wrong reasons. We were talking about Ronda Rousey. On her highs, she was everything. You know, she had, you know, those particular fans with her that supported because she was the transsetter. She was the one who was getting it done. Most of these MMA fans and some who are part-time moonlighters, they remember her just from being knocked out by 17-time boxing champion Holly Holmes. Holly Holmes finally made it over to the UFC. She ascended very quickly to the night that she faced Ronda Rousey. Now, granted, Ronda Rousey up to this point had been armbarring. She, she had closed distance, um, um, locked her opponents up in the clinch, get you on the hip, and then take you for a ride. What people don't know about Ronda Rousey, she was an Olympic, Olympian judo medalist so she had high caliber skills in judo and she was able to close distance on her opponents and take them for a ride on the hip throw and then time they hit the cameras they found themselves trying to fight off an arm bar a lot of this was taught by her mother who was also um pretty much savvy in the judo department when holly holmes knocked her out with a left high kick from the blind side you know the whole entire bout um holly holmes demonstrated her boxing skills you hear some people every now and then talking about what, how would a boxer and an MMA um, person fare. Well, there you had it. Holly Holmes was a prior boxing champion who picked up collateral skills to her collective um, arsenal in kickboxing. And she fared well on that night. And she was a part of being the, the, other, the other woman claim the fame on that particular night. In shocking the world, the biggest UFC upset in history. Unfortunately for Ronda Rousey, 
she was one of the trendsetters, but also she will forever be known and being knocked out by Holly Holmes. After that, being mentally, emotionally, you know, unstable, she went into seclusion and then she was away from the sport for a while. And people was just like rumbling, chattering. Everybody was talking about comeback, you know, so they brought her back for another bout with one of the toughest females in the sport today in Amanda Nunez. And did I tell you, you know, Holly Holmes knocked her out in round two. But when she came back and fought Amanda Nunez, these strikes was brutal. And she was um, Amanda Nunez closed her down in the first round. Brutal. She put the hands on her. Her combinations were swift. I mean, she showed no mercy on Ronda Rousey. Holly Holmes got it done in round two. Amanda Nunez did it in round one. Either way, both of those losses combined together was all bad. It's no easy way to put it. It was all bad. And, you know, people will forever talk about it. But I just want to give a kind of introspective about people that's going up here questioning why should she be in the Hall of Fame? First of all, do your research. Y'all need to do your research to the getting up here, you know, knowing about a single sport or a genre of combat sports in general of, of being very limited to the disciplines that you choose to read up on. Mixed martial arts is absolutely one of the hardest training regimes that goes on in combat sports there are others out there but you're training um to be an all-around technician in mixed martial arts so to sit up here and um you know say that she's not deserving to be in the hall of fame then who is who is because you look at boxing there's some people in the hall of fame that has six or seven losses on their record you know it's all about what your consistency was as far as your performance. Ronda Rousey has every right to get the salute and the nod and the ballot to be where she's at right now because she was a trendsetter and she has every right to be in the Hall of Fame. For anyone that's sitting up here saying she isn't deserving or what makes her in the Hall of Fame, you, you sound absolutely stupid. You know, it brings me to the tune and the lullaby. Da 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 dum 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 da dum 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 da dum 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 dum. For real, that's the only thing you can say because when you hear Ronda Rousey's name, you basically understand what she put into the sport of MMA in the UFC in the women's division. She was part of jump starting that era, which has now blossomed into other divisions. And, you know, when you take someone from the inception of something and they did more than average, you have to reward them for that. And that's exactly what's going on here. And she don't have to sit up here and explain to anybody. You know, she deserves to be in there. Now, granted, me as a fan, it was not. I was not a fan of Ronda Rousey when she was in the sport. I was a fan of how she was able to go about it. But if you dwell a little bit deeper into what she did as a practitioner she was very limited on her boxing so when she went to what works for her and that was her jujitsu her judo closing the distance and her wrestling that's it that was her go-to punch her boxing was very subpar and holly Holm, she was able to take full advantage of that full advantage but you're talking about the first woman inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame. She is every right deserving of that honor, the accolade, and to wear that banner as being the first one to be inducted. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. For those of you that never train, have very minimal to no mat time, have never been kicked or punched in your life, and you're sitting up here on social media trying to say she doesn't deserve to be where she's at. You sound stupid. Period. You absolutely sound stupid. These combat sports are not a, um, a genre of moral and principles. You go out there and perform and you do enough performance wise to go out there and be recognized and you change the game. Then you should be in the ballot of the Hall of Fame, man. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So salute to Ronda Rousey and getting the job done and going in here being the first woman inductee. And I'm pretty sure there's many more. I can name some, some ones right now that's 
headed right to the Hall of Fame and they still haven't peaked in their career. But they have pretty much established their um, credentials already in their resume and they're doing a great job. You know, so that's that's a good thing. It's positive. Mixed martial arts. It's no joke. You know what I'm saying? And, and let's just caveat a little bit to to her accolades. Right. For those of you that's, that's still clueless. All right. She finished with a 12 and two career record. And on top of that, she owns records for four of the five fastest finishes in UFC women's bantamweight history. Now, let's latch on to another um, post career that she's into right now that a lot of people was on her about. She became a WWE professional wrestler. She has the work, right? So she went over there to carry on with a post fight career to something that's um, more of a scripted wrestling type of entertainment, which they get paid fairly well. So for those of you that saying that you would go through life without looking for an alternative job, you sound the d- 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 dumb dumb once again. How is she not able to go out here and seek another another um, method of employment, especially something that involves with her being orientated around the crowd, the audience, somebody who, who's going to see her in the likes like she were over, over in the UFC? It goes without saying it's easy business to con- consider, man. For those of you that's up here criticizing her just for being that person who went from a full contact, full contact sport, defending her title six times, only losing twice, didn't take her loss well, was emotionally unstable, to transfer and transitioning what rather over to the WWE, now taking on the post character of Rowdy Roddy Piper, who I grew up watching. It's an excellent fit for her. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Rowdy Roddy Piper. It makes all the sense. Y'all do y'all research. You can sit up here and talk about she don't deserve to be in the UFC. If she doesn't out of out of um, women MMA or women martial arts or women martial arts in general, then who does? If you can't explain that. If you cannot come up with any viable conclusion, any factual conclusion, you need to shut up. You need to sit up here and read a little bit more or talk about the sport you truly understand. One that you've acclimated to because you put every bit of your interest into trying to figure out what you need to know about that sport. But some of us, we kind of change lanes, man. We want to be um, somewhat educated in more than one genre. Of martial arts disciplines. So. When it comes to Ronda Rousey. Getting to the Hall of Fame. Like I said before. She's every bit of deserving. And people should salute her for that. And like I said before. Not being a hypocrite. I wasn't a fan of her. When she was actively. A UFC fighter. Not because of her performance. All the way. You know. As far as 100%. But the way she treated other fighters. Having a lack of sportsmanship. And then. Not being as well rounded. As she could be. You know, granted, her, her coach can be blamed for that, not really enhancing her boxing skills, but also just basically going off her strengths, which was judo, wrestling and jujitsu. Everybody at one point in time, somehow, some way, um, a large percentage face faces defeat and they end up losing. It's no different here. She lost twice. She took it on the chin. Now she's over in the WWE and she's carrying on with her life and making a living. Y'all should salute and be happy and understand what she's she's contributing. And guess what? I probably guarantee you she'll be in the Hall of Fame over there in the WWE if she's not injured. If everything works out for her. She has a fan base and, uh, and, and like myself, I appreciate her more over in the WWE than I did in the UFC. I like her character over there better than the um, UFC because each time you see her in the um, UFC, she just didn't seem like she fit in with her personality. 
yeah she was all frown, frowned up and she had a brash persona and trash talk and all this other stuff but more so in the UFC you have to fake it a lot more you know what I'm saying some of the stuff she's doing over there is good for her brand you know slowly but surely the, the crowd and the fan base is gonna you know let go of the Holly Holmes knockout and the Amanda Nunez knockout but that's all I have to say. I just wanted to jump on the mic and salute Run, uh, Rowdy Ronda Rousey for her Hall of Fame inductee, her Hall of Fame induction. She's well deserving of that. And for those who are out here absolutely diluting it, discrediting, or basically refuting that she should ever be in the position that she has earned, you sound absolutely stupid and should do your research. Until then, this is World Combat Sports. Be sure to tune in and follow me on all social media outlets, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Be sure to support. Salute to you. Much appreciated. And I will talk to you. Thanks.